Hello, Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another video, it's Ibrahim Muslim and today this video is again on Hackintosh and today this video is basically for the boot settings of the Clover configurator so many of the people out there definitely know that the Clover does not boot to the default resolution it's supposed to boot depending on your display and especially if you're using an HDMI or a display port if you're using a deep DVI port Clover most of the time configures the display accurately but if you're using a display port or a DP port that won't work for you so I will show you that I have just fixed it and I will show you the booting of the screen as well as the Clover settings itself so let's boot to the hard drive I installed OS X and I will press enter one two three and you can see the resolution the bootloader will load the Apple logo in and you can see it's accurate no big issue and if I zoom out and you will see that put it exactly in that resolution and you can see that that picture is of the same size as the logo was so that means it booted up in the correct resolution and I will restart it as well so you uh, so I can show you my clover settings and after this uh, fix the restart and the shutdown becomes so fast like this the computer shutdowns in seconds and you you can see that uh, that it shut down in about five to six seconds after that fix. Before that, it used to take around fifteen to twenty seconds or thirty seconds. And now you can see that the display resolution is really sharp because this is a two K display and it's really sharp. Even the Clover loads so sharp, and I'm really happy for that. And if I go to about Clover here down here, you can see it's showing the resolution of the graphics output of UEFI as 2560 by 114 and that's exactly what the display resolution is so I will go back and I will boot into OS X once again and before going to I will better f lock the focus and now I'll press enter and you will see that the logo is brilliantly sharp and as it's on a real Mac display so let it boot up this is to make sure that the final resolution and the display is the same and you can see that so if I go to my display you can see that it's again 2560 by 114 so let's switch to the screen so I can tell you how I fixed it so we are back to the screen and now I will tell you how I got that full resolution in my Clover bootloader so basically you have to do a couple of different things starting with the Clover configurator so everything you will do is mostly related with Clover configurator and the first thing you have to do is you have to mount your OS X partition in which you have OS X EFI of your system partition in which you have installed OS X so I will mount mine and then I will click this home button and then I will click this config.plst so right now my config.plst is ready so you have to do a couple of diff different things here so don't miss anything for better understanding so let's start with the boot graphics here in boot graphics you have to add this code 0x8 some so many zeros 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 or there is a better way to find out what you have to enter here depending on your display configuration you might not be using a full 2k display or you might be using a 4k display or a 1080p display so the best thing would be go here and here generate config.plst and here just click on generate plst so now this plst will be generating depending on your current display resolution if you're on 4k 2k or 1080p then you have to go into the boot graphics and from here you have to copy these values into your EFI your system EFI so you have to copy one by you have to copy these files one by one into the your basic config.plst and then you have to go into graphics area and remember don't add these values these are just useless enter the dual link as one and if you're using Intel 
do click load vBIOS and inject Intel and if you are using NVIDIA to get the full resolution at boot clover you have to click inject NVIDIA and NVIDIA single. So I think the NVIDIA single will probably work for those who have NVIDIA GTX 900 series or later series. So if you're using any series like 600, 750s or something you can use or you can try NVIDIA inject NVIDIA uh, plus with NVIDIA generic if NVIDIA single does not work. You just use NVIDIA generic if NVIDIA single does not work on your graphic card. Else you have to use Nv inject NVIDIA and, Inge and NVIDIA single. Then you have to go into the GUI section. Here you have to add your resolution of your monitors. This is the generated config.plst as you can see it's written config.generate so you better go into your main config.plst and here you have to enter your screen resolution mine is 2560 by 1440 which is a 2k display in console mode do not select zero max main just select the blank and then after selecting this check that you have entered the correct values you have entered these values you have entered the GUI values you have entered the graphics and Nvidia values then you have to go into the install drivers area and if you are using an Nvidia graphics card or an ATI graphic card or AMD graphic card you better download that CSM Video DXE uh, UEFI driver but if you're not using Nvidia graphic card if you're using the stock Intel graphics card Intel 4400 4600 do not use CSM Video DXE or else it will break up your system it will crash you at the boot up you won't be able to boot with this file in your config in your EFI partition so you better don't use this if you're using Intel or I think if you're using an AMD processor so after setting all these files just recheck them you have to install the CSM video decks if you're on Nvidia or ATI then you have to go into the graphics section you have to click inject Nvidia and Nvidia single then you have to move into GUI and here you have to add to your custom resolution then you have to move into the boot graphics area and here you have to add to the value that was generated by your config.generate after entering these all values you have to restart your system and you have to check what response you get with this fix and I'm pretty sure it will fix your clever bootloader and your system will boot into the default full resolution as you used to use on your operating system so this is how you fix your bootloader resolution error which most of the people with Hackintosh are facing and it's really annoying that the starting display is quite big and uneven stretched out and after booting into OS the original resolution came out. So that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it and if you liked it then give it a thumbs, thumbs up and if you dislike it give it a thumbs down and for more such videos please like share and subscribe. And until the very next video, please take care. Allah Hafiz.